Hey, if you do any shopping at Sam's and stuff, do I have some information for you? Now, we're not going to be talking about really shortages today, but shortages are going to be coming. Now, I deliver to this Sam's all the time, and I'm sure that this is also happening at the other big box retailers also like Costco and BJ's and all those different types of places. You see what it takes place is folks so you get a little bit of understanding but I mean this particular Sam's when I go in there for the last week or so there has been hardly anything in the back room and their little warehouse storage area which is a pretty good size it's really high because they stack the skids six seven high now i went in there on friday i walked in and there was nowhere to go the place was cram full what is taking place is a lot of the products and stuff that they had pre-ordered last year and everybody was getting shortages and stuff is setting out at sea for months on end and everything else a lot of that product is finally starting to make it to the stores so you're going to be able to find just about anything that you'd like in some of these big box stores like costco sam's and bj's because they got a lot of stuff in now what is the problem with this a lot of this product they try canceling because it's been setting for over a year in containers wherever. Whether it been on a ship, sitting in a yard someplace, being trucked across the country, maybe on a train, whatever it may be. Now what they have to do is, if you're going to be shopping at these stores, you might want to watch for your dates and you're also going to see some probably maybe some good sales because he said a lot of this product they can't sell at the regular price. They're going to have to bring the price down to move it as quickly as possible because now it is already over a year that it's been setting in these containers. So this is going to be a huge problem. When they scan it, it goes into the trailer that's going to that particular store and you have to store it somewhere. That's why if you go into Sam's, you notice they have all the big racks and stuff inside the store and they stack stuff up in there because that's what they do. They don't have a warehouse to hold stuff. They have a warehouse to sort things and get it back out to the regular stores. What does this mean for me and you? What this means is folks, is you're gonna start seeing a lot of stuff that's gonna be on the shelves. They're gonna have an overabundance of supplies and they're going to have to bring the prices down because they need to move this product because it has been around for a long time when they would place an order boom it would come in they could put it out charge a regular price for it some of this stuff like i said has been sitting around somewhere for over a year so you may want to just make sure that you're paying close attention to your dates and products and everything else or whatever you may be purchasing because this is what is being taken place and to the downside of this they're getting all this product and everything else because as i keep saying folks the end of the line is the end of the line there's not a lot of stuff that's coming over on these container ships these container ships are coming over here they're half empty because China's still under a lockdown because of uh, COVID and everything else. And that's affecting everything. It's a ripple effect. And it's only going to get worse towards the end of the year because all these products are going to start running out. And once they run out, they don't know when they're going to be replaced. As these trucks are rolling in, they got to make room for them everywhere and everything else. Eventually, it's going to go back to where there's nothing in the back room once again and they're not going to have products on the shelves so take advantage of this situation that these retailers are in because they're going to have to mark these prices down in these big box stores like i was talking about like sam's costco bj's they all do the same thing they all run on the same principle of how they move sort and everything else so start looking for some deals especially with everything that's going on with inflation and everything else if you can find a good deal and the dates are still pretty good you might want to think about checking those out and buying some of those products take advantage of 
their bad situation, for once, we might get a little break if you can score some of these deals. So start keeping your eyes out in all your local big box stores, folks, because it might just come up and save you some money before the next shortages hit. And maybe you can have some supplies put away for you and your family. So back then, you know, we thought that was a totally messed up society at that point in time in our lives, huh? I mean, fast forward now almost a year later, and we're still in the same boat for only for different reasons. Now people can't afford the products. You know, the products are in the store. Warehouses are still kind of full. Um, now we're starting to have issues with getting products across the United States out of California with uh, all the massive truckers that have been put out of business because of the government in California. All the train derailments that have been taking place. We also have been dealing with, you know, the whole China uh, relationship between the Chinese and the Americans and everything else. Um, some of their uh, areas are still down under lockdown. Uh, warehouses haven't opened back up. Cargo ships are still half full coming over. It's one big, huge mess, and it all keeps coming back around. Now, what is going to really take place? You see, the feds are going to be keep raising these interest rates and stuff. So as far as I'm concerned, the stores will probably remain full of products that they cannot sell, and they'll probably be on the shelves for quite a few years just because nobody can afford it. Everybody's scrambling just basically to make ends meet, putting a roof over their head and food not on the table. So when we fast forward a year from the time this, this video was made, it's pretty ironic that we're in the same boat, different circumstances, but nothing's getting better. Something to think about, folks, because unfortunately, I don't think things are going to get any better anytime soon. So we need to do what we can. Got to make sure that you're staying prepared. Make sure that you are doing your best to provide for you and your family and your preparedness because that's what it's all about. So I'm Survival Preparedness for Beginners. Thank you for joining me on this flashback and see where we are today. So until next time, I'm out. Mm-hmm.